Hey, welcome to the Coffee Corner. I'm Chris. And I'm Jason, and welcome. And today we have a wood-fired coffee nice. by uh, Summer Moon, and it's their Costa Rican uh, limited edition blend. And we have it. Good. I, got, I got the last bag, believe it or not. Did you honestly? Yeah. See? Look at that. The last one at their uh, storefront in Frisco, Texas. Um, I saw it, and I had to have it. Okay. So brought it back home to Michigan for us. To Good. Try. Perfect. And yeah. what are the tasting notes today? Sweet honey and chocolate walnut. Sweet honey, chocolate walnut. Got yeah. it. Okay. And it's a medium roast. Medium roast, single, single origin. Single origin from Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah. Looking at the bean, it was a little darker than some yeah. of the coffees that we've had recently. Yeah. It's in a little, had a little more oil to it. So I'm kind of curious and I'm excited to try this one. Look promising. A nice, yeah. like robust smell from yeah. the bag. Yep. Yeah. So... I'm excited for this one. All right, let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, it's tasty. It is. It's it has a nice, uh, I guess even strong would be the way I'm. You know, yeah. it's it's a little more on the strong side to taste, but it's it's nice. It's very yeah. pleasant. Yeah, it's not overpowering. It doesn't like you know right. hit you in the face. It's, it's robust, like you said earlier. Uh huh. Yeah, like it's that. good too because it's got, like you said, it it's it, it's a strong taste, but it's not overpowering because you have that nice nuttiness mm -hmm. that yeah. kind of at the end that kind of yep. lingers. So the taste, it's not too. It doesn't. It, it's not too powerful all the way through. Do you think there's something to this wood-fired coffee? I'll tell you what. It almost has like a smokiness kind of. Yeah. You described it as earthy, which I yeah. thought yep. that was on point too. Yeah. But it almost does have kind of like a, a smokiness yeah, to it, which is kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's an interesting uh, way to do it. We haven't had any other beans that are wood-fired, have we? It, well, we had another, su um, yeah, another summer, summer moon. moon. Oh, like glowing Amber? Glowing what? Amber, right. Yeah. So, do you know if that one is wood fired, or is yeah, that how all, they do all of them? All of them are wood fired from. Okay. That's uh, and no other roasters, I believe, that we've tried right. have wood fired. One does a lot uh, like air, like uh, air roasting. Mm -hmm. That's new order. New order, yeah. So, right. Yeah, I mean, it adds it's, another like flavor profile with that smokiness. Right, it's unique. It's a little more complex. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So we've tried two of these coffees now. So where are you picking these coffees up at? You said Ta Frisco, Texas? Yeah. Yeah, they have a storefront in Frisco, Texas. And uh, my brother will take me there. Okay. Visiting them and then uh, get a coffee and then look at their beans and see which one entices me. Sure. And that one, like I said, the last one that was there, packaging was on point. Mm -hmm. It has like a nice uh, vacation feel to it. So right. figured why not in the dead of winter. Yeah, like for sure. Yeah, drinking that's, some coffee. That's right. Okay, uh, good. That one up, yeah. Good little place. Yeah, it's... A couple locations. So. Okay, it's always nice to have a, a local coffee roaster around. Yeah, and as you can see, the beans are fresh even from mm -hmm. you know, a week and a half or so ago when I picked it up. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. So, on that five bean scale... I'll let you do the honors. Perfect. All right, good. I was hoping you'd say that. Let, uh, let you start us off. Okay. So we did a few shots of this. Talk us through it. We had a few different shots of this. We do a few tastings beforehand in a clear glass to kind of measure the volume. We usually have a test shot prior to kind of see if we can nail the flavors and get at least a few looks at it, you know, so we can make sure that we're um, judging it accurately. And... Over the three times that I've tried this, I felt like I liked it more and more each time I tried it. Mm -hmm. First time I thought it was okay, it's good, it's strong was my first impression, but it has that subtle like nuttiness to it, which mm -hmm. is really nice too. So without further ado, I'm going to give it a 4.1. Wow, one of your higher scores. One of my higher scores, mm -hmm. right. I, after having it a few times, it really grew on me. And I think, like you said, that uniqueness of that wood fired coffee that wood fired roasting process mm -hmm. adds something really nice especially yeah. in this case absolutely great score all right you this guys. is what see this you can make it or break break it all right i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna make it for him okay I gave him a 4.3 wow okay um, everybody could see 
the whole audience can see. Um, reason being, like you said, it continues to grow. Mm-hmm. It's a connoisseur's coffee. I feel like they uh, they went out there, they hit it, chocolate, sweet honey. It has that earthiness from the wood fired. It's a different process. Um, packaging is on point. Mm-hmm. Overall good taste. Doesn't linger too long. Good robust taste and overall exceptional coffee. So 4.3 from me will give us a 4.2 overall. Nice. I don't know where that falls in the realm of all the other coffees, but it's in that top tier, though. So yeah, I think both of their coffees that we reviewed are they were gr- uh, yeah, yeah they were great yeah, yeah. I think over four point right if not four point or above you're right so yeah they they do a good job there might be something to that wood fired coffee process yeah I agree a lot of good different options like you said that they have this one being the best one that we've tasted so far so. I'm excited. Next time you go down there, you pick, yeah, you know, if you yeah, pick up absolutely. another bag yeah, to kind of see the variety of what they have, different offerings. Yeah. And that's great, too. Like you said, sometimes, depending on the season or mm-hmm. whatever, you want a different taste profile or something different. Yeah. Or even if you're having you know, people over, like you said, this is a little bit more of a connoisseur's type coffee. Yeah. But um, if you want something more general, they probably have that offering, yeah, too. Yeah. So. I know with uh, you know us being connoisseurs, we know mm. other connoisseurs. Uh huh. There so you go. When they come over, I'm sure they would enjoy. Yeah, they coffee appreciate like that. that. And then some of the more uh, layman's people we'll mm-hmm. call them, that aren't connoisseurs will probably <laughs> enjoy some other offerings uh, from Summer Moon. So. Yep, for sure. That's what we got for you guys. A 4.2 overall from the Pine Row Boys. That's it, and that's that. All right. Cheers. Until next time.